in the last video we were able to connect create a data source or database on the Microsoft Azure cloud and the name was my project DF and looking at the database connection settings going to ODBC uh, we see a connection string copy the connection string like this and put it on a notepad this is going to be the connection for the database and this is the database name so let's do that here the connection so in your SQL Server Management Studio click on connect and type the name here the server name the user ID and password you created while creating the cloud SQL data warehouse and go to options and in the connection properties make sure you select my project so this is the login go to connection properties here click on browse server and make sure you're able to select my project which was created say connect and there you go this is the connection now let's create a table and enter a couple of records in the table so click on new query let's create a schema let's create a schema here so there is an already in schema known as stage uh, so that's how you would create a schema let's create a table customer with three columns with four columns sorry customer ID first name last name and gender and let's run this SQL so the table is created just refresh the database connection here and on the right side you would see the stage customer table already created with these columns now let's enter a couple of records using manual insert command just to make sure that everything is good so we're going to enter these two records in the customer table and I need to remove this so these two records are inserted now let's say select star so select star from this customer table and there you go two records are available so we were able to create a table on the cloud database using SSMS and then we were able to kind of insert a couple of records now let's create data factory which can automate our data transformation slash loading process so we go back again here and we go back to the create a new service page and then from the data and analytics section we're going to take data factory data factory again is going to be the ETL tool which we're going to use for this project to to load the data from so name I'm gonna say my project or my data factory it's already taken up so I'm gonna say one so I'm taking up two three ups it's taken up again uh, let's say zero zero seven and resource group I can continue using the resource group which I created the last time my resource group so data factory name the subscription resource group and location click on pin to dashboard and that's how you would create a data factory again the data factory is going to take some time to get created here deployment in progress um, it's going to take some time so I'm going to stop the video here and the next time in the next video would we will continue to load the data from data factory to the SQL data warehouse thank you for watching